Sure. That was the breezy, cool outflow that kept us below 90 degrees today. So a brief break. The heat is going to return tomorrow, but only for one day before we see a better chance for rain and thunderstorms. So we plotted it out timing wise today. There's a small chance this evening as we have that moisture boundary outflow boundary in place, but it's Wednesday that we'll see a cool front drift across the area, slow down and keep the chances for rain into Thursday. So when's it going to rain on Wednesday? We will see the probability increase during the afternoons. Well, low chance two o'clock, but then it really increases as we head into late afternoon. As the heat builds, we're going to see high tomorrow near 98 degrees. You can see the flow line of the thunder showers this morning, but it sent out an outflow boundary. You could even make it out here very faint. Let's play it again. There it is, and it's flowing into this area right now into the heat. So there are some strong to severe thunderstorms. One just below severe weather limits in Gasconade County, one towards Bell, and a severe thunderstorm warning with one inch hail or larger and some 60 mile per hour winds possible. And we may see one or two of those drift into the metro area within the next couple of hours. But after sunset, they'll lose their heating, they'll lose some of the punch and fall apart. So it has dragged the front down into our area and the front, the heat is gonna move back to the north during the next 18 hours or so. Front cool front stretches all the way into the eastern United States. This wave in the atmosphere keeping the deeper moisture, the widespread moisture from reaching our area. But there's enough in place from past rainfall to pull it out, lift it and create new thunderstorms. Here's the cool front that will bring us a brief change to uh, the rain and thunderstorm chances increasing tomorrow and cooler air behind it. And we continue to watch Frank and Georgette. Not much of an issue minimal tropical storm strength. Tomorrow, about this time, we'll see a category two or some risk of severe thunderstorms with uh, strong winds and possibly some damaging hail. And the peak is up over northern sections of the viewing area. We head to Rolla where you can see the puffiness in the clouds and a thunderstorm in the distance there. That's uh, Phelps and Dent counties down that way. Grafton, Illinois. Look at how the outflow boundary pushed those clouds across our area, pushed back the heat, and kept it breezy here. 88 here, but it's 98 in Kansas City. We have a number of 100s over the Central Plains, even Chicago into some sunshine today and some of the heat, 90 degrees. Local readings with that outflow boundary, that cool breeze from rain cooled air in the 80s right now. The high point for the day is 88. Heat index is 90, our humidity 46%. 2.65 and there's that breeze or gusty wind that Mike talked about southeast of 20 gusting to 29. Mold count today it's high. You would expect that it's going to be that way for several days with the rain being pulled out of the ground. Now the computer modeling wants to bring in at least some spot thunderstorms into the metro area during the evening hours. We'll see how that plays out. Weather eye to the sky. They're gone in time for baseball to be played tonight. And then tomorrow, better chance for a scattering of rain and thunderstorms that blossom across the area. Looks like the focus of the heavier and persistent rain will be away from those flooded areas from last week. And here's that uh, indication where the uh, modeling wants to bring the rain in this afternoon. But I think that is better placed to uh, the south and west where it's raining right now. Tomorrow, we're going to see uh, rain develop late afternoon into the evening hours. This evening, short term, some spot thunderstorms around through about six to seven o'clock. Enough time for them to get the ball game in. Maybe a brief delay getting out of the box. That's if they do fire over the city, and that's dubious. Mostly clear tonight, low down to 80 degrees. And then tomorrow, increasing clouds, increasing heat, high of 98. Some late day thunderstorms, a really good chance and some scattered activity into Thursday as that front slows down. But look, temperatures drop back 88, 92 on Friday, and it looks like a hot weekend and mainly dry, partly cloudy skies.